What time did you get home? I didn't even see you get home. Yeah, I know. I was really offended. You didn't even say hello. I was asleep. I was getting on the train just as you arrived home. All right, so we are off on another trip. Now we're off to Sydney and Melbourne, which we tend to do once or twice a year. Meet with our distributors over there on the East Coast, but also uh, go and meet, well, you guys, just to see how, how products are going and how the wines are being perceived. Just also to see friends in the industry that we haven't seen in a while. Plus I'll get to fly on to Melbourne and hopefully catch up with Noah while I'm over there. Laura's with us this time, you excited? Yeah. What are you expecting from Sydney? It's a bit warmer. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a big lineup. My bag just got scanned like three times. Turns out Laura was holding also some scissors, <laughs> some scissors as well. But I would, I'll be honest, I was shitting bricks because I have like a bag of white powder, which is like an electrolyte thing. This reference was my little bag <laughs> Electrolytes. How are you feeling? Yes. Cool. That was a pretty good effort. All right, so next job, now that I'm in a carbohydrate coma, uh, it's probably a good thing because we're gonna go shopping for food. We're gonna go shopping for supplies now. So it's kind of a good thing. I'm, I'm not starving. We've done shops. Laura's gone for a bit of a walk because she's that way. Um, we're going to take the opportunity to get a bit of an early night because the next couple of days are, are going to be, well, next week's going to be pretty big. See how we go. Early night, big week. Ciao. Copy time. Well, get up here. I've done a, a little bit of work and then we just got sent through the itinerary for this week. We're doing 58 venue meetings in four days, including I think five dinners. So we're gonna go on a 17K run, get ready for the week. Sound good? Seventeen k's done. It was really hard. A lot of stairs. It was a lot of stairs. It. Water, food, work. Is that the goal? That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, why do a video like this? Like, what's the point of of what we're doing here? You know, uh, videotaping us just being on the road doing sales. Which I'll be honest, in my head and in practice. I find actually quite mundane a lot of the time. Of course, you guys have been asking for more vlog based content, which I'm stoked about. So I thought, well, we could have a bit of fun here. Obviously, you know, we're out and about traveling, but it's not like the Venexpo side of things and it's not like the Pro Wine side of things. If you've seen both of those vlogs that we did on that, this is more about the kind of cold, harsh reality of what we actually do, which I do find sort of rather mundane. For example, Noah's just come out of a week in Brisbane doing 40 meetings in five days, eight meetings a day, you know, pretty high cadence. We're going into 58 meetings across four days, as well as you know five nighttime events. Noah, I think, had about three. I'm hoping that uh, you know out of this video, you guys are going to get a bit of an insight into kind of how it actually is when we travel, to what it's like on the road. The hope is that other producers that uh, you know might somehow stumble across us on YouTube, and maybe they've got some really good pointers, you know, some advice. Jump into the comments or give me a, a phone call and, and let me know how dumb what I did on the road is. I do know that there's a lot of sales reps, like professional wine sales reps on our Discord who are going to be watching this. So maybe you guys, uh, you know, have some really good insight as well. What am I looking forward to over the next couple of weeks? Probably been about a year since I was last in Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, and the same thing for Laura. So um, getting back out and visiting the people that have supported us. Uh, for a long period of time. A big one that probably you guys aren't aware of, Laura runs the whole company. Getting Laura out and about uh, into the trade gives her a really great insight to how our products are and, and wines are being perceived in the market. I'm really excited to see what we're gonna find out this time around 
uh, in Sydney and Melbourne and hopefully provide you with a bit of a recap and insight. All right, so first day of trade, divide and conquer. Typically, this is how it usually happen as well. So usually law will be taken by a separate person to myself, two people obviously in trade, both founders capable of being able to represent the brand as well. So uh, covering more ground. So this is a sign of a good distributor is, is buying you breakfast. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All of YouTube. <laughs> Last class time. So what are we doing here? Had a couple of meetings this morning that were absolutely fantastic. The lovely crew, our distributors across uh, on the East Coast over here organized something called the Fiano Symposium. Um, obviously we're Fiano nerds. How Australia is going, I guess, Fiano wise. First in the room. Come on. <laughs> All right, just gotten home. Into the first day uh, in trade, clocked up about four or five meetings. Law is still out. Quick bite for dinner, but it is uh, nine o'clock, start of the day at 4.35. I'm gonna hit the hay early. I'm not too sure what time Laura is gonna get back. We'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, night guys. Good morning. Coffee, gin. All right, so I'm about to head off for, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm about to head out for the beginning of today, Wednesday. We've got another Fiano masterclass happening about 30 minutes away from here and then go from there to a big group training at another restaurant group, plus another four or five sort of individual client meetings before dinner. Laura, what are you up to do? Uh, I've got meetings this morning. I need to head into Sydney CBD. Um, and then tonight I've got a cool event in Newtown at Familiar. Familiar, yes. What time did you get home? I didn't even see you get home. Yeah, I know. I was really offended. You didn't even say hello. I was asleep. <laughs> I was getting on the train just as you arrived home. So I thought you might stay up, but you were asleep. But I crashed. I did the responsible thing and got to bed early. <laughs> All right, we go. I love this. It's just subliminal messaging happening right here. Your day, potentially long. The train, potentially late. That's the way around. Your day, potentially late. The train, definitely long. Cool. So I'm just about to start our uh, next Fiano masterclass, the Sydney Restaurant Group. Let's go drink some Fiano. Masterclass done. It's real. It's real. Oh my goodness, you guys have upgraded your van. Oh, no, that's awesome. <laughs> Protein bars, just keep moving, ma'am. Keep going. Another cracking meeting. All right, that was the last client meeting done for the day. We've got a couple of client dinners, or a couple of clients for dinner. Get a bit of work done, smash out some emails, hopefully have a beverage to wet the whistle, and then get ready for dinner. All right, quick cheeky little cider while I am in the back offices of La Ponte. In fact, I actually think that might be setting up for some kind of wacko tasting over here, but I'm gonna smash out a bunch of emails because I've got about 30, 40 minutes before dinner, uh, which we're sitting in with, or oh, bringing across to other clients uh, of ours just to say good day. And also just try and support people that support us, which I think is like a really good thing to do. All right. End of Wednesday, dinner was fantastic. Um, sat down with two absolutely amazing clients. It's pretty early again. I think Laura's about to get home, but I'm gonna crash and we've got an early one tomorrow. Good night, let's go into Thursday, ciao. Happy Thursday. Yesterday went really well, ton of meetings, great dinner. Laura, how'd you go? Good, fun day. Where are you off to today? I'm going down south, I'm meeting Penny at Sutherland Station. How many meetings did you clock up yesterday? Maybe seven. Wow, another big day, another glorious day in Sydney. Come with me to different drop. Say hello to Sweet. wine for the people. <laughs> hello. <laughs> this is the 
This is a one for the people you choose. Oh, hi. Everyone, this is Sean. Hi. hi. Uh, 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 11.30, a little bit later, had a great dinner with the Different Drop crew. Love you guys. I clocked up another six meetings today and Laura, I'm not too sure. I think it was like six or seven. I'm cooked, I'm done. I've got nothing more for you guys. Good night. All right, happy Friday. How was last night, Lil? It was good, it was a bit late. It was a bit late. So we were home before midnight. Tasting on this morning from another producer, Stargazer, that we're gonna go support, and I'm getting picked up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and more meetings. And then we have, oh, Laura, we have a night off. Shall we go bar hopping? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's printed out. We have goals listed, all the information we need. Would you like to see the secret behind the successful distribution business? <laughs> wow, you really are in your 40s. This is the secret. So done the meetings for the week. You would think that being a Friday night in Sydney that Laura and I would take the opportunity to get out and amongst it. But to be honest, after being around amazing wine and amazing food and amazing uh, industry professionals, we cooked. We've repeated and repeated ourselves 58 times for hours at a time for the last yeah, four or five days. Anyway, uh, I'll check in when Laura gets home. Uh, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of Grenache and just decompress for a little bit. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm pretty tired, but I'm pretty happy. Like, the, all the meetings are done now. Um, we've got two consumer events this weekend. And it's been so good. So good to get out of Adelaide Hills and talk to people about our wines. <laughs> no, it has been awesome. And, the, like, the reception to the wines has been really good. We've, we'd had a couple of new, like, whole new wines into the staple, like Tropo, Grenache, the Gummeracker and Birdwood. And Gummeracker actually dropped on the website today and has been basically sold out in a single day, which is awesome. So thank you to, um, you know, those who jumped uh, at the chance to support our crazy Nebbiolo project. But anyway, we're going to get probably like takeaway burritos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to have with our really nice <laughs> wine. <laughs> to have our really nice wine. And then we're going to have, uh, yeah, I think a, an early-ish night. Yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Ciao.